Using Facebook as one of your business's main communication channels is a top complete marketing strategy. But because customer care can be time consuming, we've searched and found a way to automate it. In this lesson, we are going to show you how you can easily automate lead capture and nurturing on Facebook with a messenger chatbot. Finding the right messenger bot solution for your business. To use messenger chatbots, you first need to sign up to a good automation platform that offers chatbot integration. We have used and recommend Mobile Monkey, an official Facebook marketing provider that lets you build your own chatbots for free. With Mobile Monkey, you don't need to know how to code to build your own chatbots. You just have to go to https colon forward slash forward slash mobilemonkey.com and to click on Get Mobile Monkey Free. Then click on Get Started for Free while logged into your Facebook account to connect to the service. Building a Messenger Chatbot After connecting Mobile Monkey to your Facebook account, you will be asked to connect Mobile Monkey to the Facebook page where you will install your new Messenger Chatbot. Select the page where you'll install your new chatbot and click on Connect. Next, you can select the chatbot template. In this example, we'll skip selecting a template so we can show you how to edit your chatbot from scratch. Select Start from Scratch and then click on Let's Do This. Now you will get access to the chatbot editor. The first thing you have to do is to customize and activate your chatbot. Click on the Settings tab on the left-hand menu. Enter a name for your Messenger chatbot in the Chatbot Name field. This is a name that users that send you Messenger messages will see in the Messenger window. Now click the lever button on the chatbot status column to activate your chatbot. You can click on the language menu to select a different language for your chatbot. Now click on the Bot Builder tab to go to the Chatbot Builder section. In this section, you can create chatbot dialogues. Chatbot dialogues are triggered according to what users type when they send messenger messages to your pages. There are two types of chatbot dialogues that you can create here. Dialogues are simple dialogues that you construct to engage users, such as welcome dialogues and dialogues designed to qualify leads. Q&A dialogues are triggered when users type messages or questions that contain specific keywords. You can construct Q&A dialogues by picking what type of dialogues are triggered by keywords that you choose. Start by creating a dialogue. Click on the Dialogues option. Here you will find two pre-built dialogues, a welcome dialogue to greet users when they send you a message, and a default dialogue to send users a default message when no other options are available. You can edit the messages in these dialogues to replace the default text with your own custom messages. In this example, We'll edit the welcome dialog to add a custom greeting. Now we'll edit the default dialog to add a custom dialog to ask users to wait while we process their information. You can insert additional elements to your dialogs, including images, quick questions, and GIFs by selecting them from the top bar. You can add additional dialogs by clicking on the Add Dialog button. Let's create an additional dialog that will be triggered after users leave us a comment or question. Click on Add Dialog. Now enter the name of this dialog in the Dialog Name field. Now click on Create Dialog. Now select with what type of widget you'll open this dialog. In this example, we'll select Text to enter our message. Now click into the Enter Your Text field to type your dialog. In this example, we'll enter a message to let users know that we'll be checking their info and that we'll be back with them shortly. You can add as many additional dialogues as you need to use. Let's now create a Q&A dialog. Start by clicking on the Q&A tab on the left-hand menu. Now click on the new Q&A button. Q&A dialogues are triggered when users include certain keywords in their messages. So, you have to insert the keyword that you want to trigger a Q&A dialog into the If User Says text box. Let's create a quick example. Try inserting a product keyword. If a user includes that product keyword into one of his messages, the chatbot will trigger a dialog that includes a product recommendation and a sales page URL. Next, you have to program your chatbot response to this keyword in the Bot Replies With column. First, select how your chatbot will respond. You can select text if you want to make your chatbot reply with a custom message. 
Or you can instead select Dialog if you want your chatbot to reply with one of your dialogues from the Dialogues library. In this example, we'll select Text. Then we'll insert our product recommendation, followed by the sales page URL. You can add additional Q&A dialogues by clicking on the New Q&A button. As you can see, automating customer care on Facebook as part of your complete internet marketing plan is easy.